Aloha, my name is Desi Bartlett and I work as a global yoga ambassador for Manduka Yoga. And this is my son. Rocket. And how old are you, Rocket? Seven. Rocket is seven. And today we're gonna to be sharing some poses that you can enjoy before bedtime. It is evening time here in Hawaii and Rocket is gonna start winding down. He has his own Manduka mat, so go ahead on your mat, babe. And go onto your hands and knees. Okay. And this is a sequence that you can enjoy together as a family. So we're gonna move into a little cat and cow. So when you're ready, Rock, look up to the sky, lift your tailbone. What's a cow say? Moo. Moo. And now round your spine, look to your belly button. What's a cat say? Meow. Meow. Let's do that a couple more times. So we're gonna look up to the sky and say, Moo. Moo. And then you're gonna turn, <laughs> lift your belly button and say, Meow, one more time. Inhale and look up, moo. And exhale and round, meow. Good, do you remember child's pose? Bring your hips to your heels and reach forward. You can close your eyes. And parents, you can place your hand on your child's lower back and just give them a little massage. And so as soon as the head is supported, it sends a signal to the nervous system saying, hey, we're, we're safe, we are relaxed, and it's okay to breathe, and it's okay to stretch, and this is really nice. Two more deep breaths. And anytime you are in any kind of forward fold, including child's pose, everything just slows down a little bit and it feels good. Beautiful. Okay, Rocket, we're gonna be using a bolster. Now, if you don't have a bolster, it's okay. You can use a pillow from your bed or you can simply lay on the floor. Go ahead and turn both of your knees this way, babe. You're gonna lay on your side. Look at mommy. You're gonna lay on your side like this on the bolster. <laughs> and this is a supported twist. So. If you wanna go deeper into the twist, you turn your face away from your knees. So Rocket, can you turn your face towards mommy? Put your hands down on the floor like this and turn your face towards me. That's so good. And you're gonna breathe here. Really, really good. So again, this is a supported twist and this is going to bring in a sense of comfort. And I can already see that my little boy is starting to relax. His eyes are closing. And tonight, when you dream, what are you gonna dream about, Rocket? Chachi. <laughs> he said he's gonna dream about Chachi. Chachi is the name of our little puppy. She's four months old. Really good. Go ahead and switch sides, baby. So you're gonna turn your knees to face mommy. Come back to hands and knees, and then turn your knees towards me, and lay down on your bolster, on your pillow, and now turn your face away from me. There you go. And again, this is a supported twist. And so getting excited about the dream state or talking about what you want to plan on dreaming can be really fun. It's a fun activity to do together. And Rocket, can I meet you in your dreams tonight? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll meet the puppy there too. We have a sweet little puppy. Good, can you breathe a little bit deeper? Eyes are closed and just let your body relax. And I'd like you to try to make the sound of the ocean when you breathe. So great big wave in, great big wave out. So good, one more, big wave in and big wave out, you got it. Okay, you can go ahead and lay down on your back Put your spine on the bolster with your feet together and just relax. Feet together with the knees bent. So let them open up like a butterfly. There you go. And this is supported Supta Baddha Konasana. But Rocket told me that he wants to call this something else. What are we calling this pose? Sleeping Pomeranian. Sleeping Pomeranian. I, I bet you can guess what kind of puppy we bought. <laughs> She's a Pomeranian. You can bring your hands onto your heart or onto your tummy and close your eyes and just relax. Really nice. 
So anytime we're in a supported pose, the body can rest a little bit deeper and it prepares us for sleep. So even though he's not gonna go immediately into sleep the second that we're done, his nervous system is benefiting from the feeling of relaxation and he can start to breathe slowly and deeply and find a sense of calm from the inside out in sleeping Pomeranian pose. <laughs> really sweet. Straighten your legs, straighten your legs and then just lay down, Shavasana, final relaxation pose. I'm gonna take this out from under you and I'm gonna put it under your head, just like a little pillow. Go ahead, lay down. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. And we're gonna do just a little bit of progressive relaxation. So rock it, relax your feet and your tiptoes. Relax your lower legs and your knees. Relax your strong legs and your hips. Relax your tummy and your lower back. Relax your chest and your shoulder blades. Relax your arms and your hands. And now relax your face, your forehead. Oh, we have some giggles. That's okay too, giggles are always good. Nice. So this is one way of doing Shavasana. Another way that you can practice Shavasana is side lying. So if you have a younger child, you can lay on your side, babe. Just lay on your side. Keep your eyes closed. If you have a younger child, especially a toddler, you might want to just cuddle. <laughs> you can snuggle up and you can enjoy some cuddles and some hugs and talk about how you're going to see each other in dreamland. Really nice. And let's come up. Go ahead and sit up. You want to sit on my lap? Okay, sit on my lap. Nice. Okay. And with so much going on in the world these, these days, it can be a little bit hard to get to sleep. You know, there's, there's a lot happening and little ones feel it too. So if we can teach them how to relax and how to breathe and calm the nervous system for an early age, it's really, really beneficial and healing. Can you bring your hands to your heart? And what do we say to close our practice? Namaste. Namaste.